I'm sorry, um, this was a long video. It just, it says it, it was like a long video, so. So this is, um, this is just gonna be the last. And you want a part two, just ask me. And then, um, yeah, I'll make a part two. Or do you want me to make a Let Live Vines part, like, three? Um, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna post one, like, right now, after this video is done. were injured and two of them critically. The amusement park has been closed since the accident and the owner of the park was detained by police. Icelandic teen dies after falling from roller coaster at Spanish theme park. This is the Hell roller coaster at the Terra Mitica theme park in Benidorm, Spain. A ride that was to prove deadly for an 18 year old Icelandic man. The roller coaster has been in operation since 2007. Riders can experience 360 degree turns at forces of up to 3G and speeds of 60 miles per hour. The teen was reportedly at the park with his parents and a friend when they went on the ride at about 4.30 p.m. Reports said the teen was flung from the ride when his safety harness failed, falling to the ground where he suffered serious head injuries. He later died from a cardiac arrest. An investigation has been opened into the accident while all rides made by the same manufacturer have temporarily ceased operations. Man killed by roller coaster in Ohio. A man was killed after being struck by roller coaster at Cedar Point Amusement Park in Ohio on Thursday. A Cedar Point guest was reportedly trying to retrieve a cell phone which had fallen below the Raptor roller coaster when he jumped over a fence into a restricted area. The Raptor ride can reach speeds up to 57 miles per hour. The man was hit by the roller coaster soon after jumping the fence. The amusement park and the Sandusky Police Department are investigating the accident. Amusement park ride turns into near-death experience in Canada. Just a few seconds after this picture was taken last Wednesday, Leo Forrest nearly died. Her mom, Joan Forrest, says she'll never forget the moment a family fun day turned into a near-fatal tragedy at the Sandspit Amusement Park on Prince Edward Island. Leah and friends were on the rock and roll ride, which consists of cars positioned at the end of rotating arms. The cars, which can hold up to four people, spin in a circular direction while the entire ride also rotates. 15-year-old Leo Forrest says her restraining belt felt a bit loose and the ride operator failed to make the second safety check she was expecting. Shortly after the ride began, she was ejected from the car. After being thrown from the car and landing on the platform below, Leo was struck repeatedly by cars that slammed into her, throwing and tossing her, in her mom's words, like a rag doll. Finally, after being hit at least five times, Leah's parents caught the attention of the ride operator and it was shut down. Shockingly and happily, Leah's x-rays revealed no broken bones, no internal bleeding, and no significant injuries other than swelling scrapes and bruises. Matthew Jelly, the president of Sandspit Entertainment, said 